Watching that movie this week, it was. It, everybody said it was good, and I watched like one half of it, and it was like so long. And then I decided to watch the other half, but I was not prepared to cry. <laughs> That's why I wanted to talk about Love and Basketball tonight, because I wasn't prepared to cry at the end when she decided to, when Monica decided to play Quentin for his heart, but then she ended up losing the game to him. But the funny part is, once the game was over, he said these two words, double or nothing. So even though it may seem like she lost, she still won, she still got her man, she still was able to live her dream of being in the WNBA, and what do you know, they ended up having a kid together. After an entire movie of going back and forth from one lover to the next lover to the next lover, and I'm just sitting in front of my TV like, y'all have been meant for each other this whole movie, but it took her mom, it took her mom at the end to say, the reason why I knew that Quentin could do better was because I was talking about you. So, so that's basically what I wanted to just come up here and talk about real quick is that you know, sometimes, sometimes we look at love and romance for those of us who are in our single season as this, this big, huge, impossible, you know, thing that's like, man, I need a PhD. But it's, <laughs> it's as simple as playing a game of basketball. Y'all know that basketball is a strategy game, right? You gotta like bob and weave to get around the defender so that when you have the momentum and the room, you can shoot your shot. And hopefully, hopefully it will go in the basket and you'll win, you'll score a point. And you know, so if you're in that single season right now, you may not be able to shoot your shot because the defenders are coming at you trying to keep you from, you know, trying to keep you from from winning the game, but don't worry about winning the game. Because even if you win the game, you still have to keep fighting in order to win the war. All right. And the war doesn't end until, well, I would say until you get married, but even when you get married, the war doesn't end because Jesus hasn't come back yet. That's when the real war ends. So, but as of right now, don't give up hope. You got time. Time and more time. As long as we're on this earth, you got more time to do what God has called you to do. Walk in your purpose. And then gradually as life goes along, you'll meet someone that catches your attention. They'll be attracted to you. You'll be attracted to them. But the best part is you won't have to worry about double or nothing. Because when you meet them, They'll be down for you till the end of the game. Okay. All right. So, right. all is fair, love and basketball, right? <laughs> Shoot your shot, and um, yeah, enjoy enjoy your season. Just know that God is backing you. Your team of believers are backing you, and when you get in the game, regardless of what happens, you're a winner because. You're sealed, saved, and secured forever. Yes. 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 Yes.